big fella. Can I help you? Yo, my man, let me talk to no, you. No, man. You're not coming in here with that bag. This is my bag, man. You can not bring this no, bag man. in the store, my man. If you're going to bring a bag in our store, we're going to inspect it. It's just our policy. What's up, people? Welcome back. And get ready for a Hardcore Pawn video full of weirdest moments on Hardcore Pawn. Let's hop into it. Number one, online romance. Peter, a man, enters and tries to purchase some jewels. He has a number of watches, a number of rings, and several other items. We'll see whether he strikes it lucky today. Hi. Hi, how are you? Peter. Peter, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Uh, there's a reason I'm here today. My fiance is in the Ukraine. As you might imagine, coming from Eastern Europe, it's quite expensive. So, are you originally from there? I was born and raised here. Given that he is here and she is there, I assume she went to Ukraine on business or for some other reason, but I'm not certain. Regardless, it's really kind of him to come see her. That guy is cool. And I was able to meet Lena there. Are you kidding me? Get a mail order bride from the Ukraine. I went to see her for the first time and we knew very quickly and we got engaged. And oh, so you've been with her since? Yeah, twice. You've only been with your fiance twice? Ten days each time. I can't believe this guy was so open to tell me about his sketchy relationship. Well, um, never thought. After barely 20 days together, this guy genuinely made the decision to marry and live out the rest of his life with this person. It's frightful. You know what? I'll take five for the ring. I'll do 450. I think I'll pass. Split it with you. 475. You got a deal. You got a deal? Yeah. Thank you, Peter. Thanks, Ashley. I'm gonna go home and buy the ticket to bring Elena here to Detroit. And then I'll bring her down and introduce her to Ashley. Yes. I don't believe introducing her to Ashley will be a very good idea. Especially since, to be honest, she refuses to give two Fs. You do you, boo, but be sure you do it somewhere else. Number two, drunk guy. This man walks in wanting to sell or pawn a ring. It's a freaking gigantic ring. It can fill the whole fist of a toddler. But this man seemed really weird from the get-go. I wonder why. This guy smelled like a brewery. Okay, how much did you want? I'd like 500 for it. Why? Why? Because I need it. Yeah, I, I, I got you. two DUIs and I got some fines and I need it. Well, if it was gold, I'd give you more than 500, but it's not real. Oh, I really like his sense of self-importance, providing Leslie with some rather foolish responses. You just got it, and we know it's a ring. Oh, God. Problem is, I can't give it to you if you don't got it. I need $500 for I'm it. I'm sure please. you do. You gotta give me something for it. I can't give it to you. I'm sorry. Give it to me anyway. I mean, you can give me something for it. This guy was drunk. Yes, he was drunk. This dude really irritates me. I mean, really, why would you walk up to the shop intoxicated and attempt to sell your fake ass shit? However, was I the only one who perceived a threat? I ain't leaving here. Man, get away from me. He was screaming like a little child. He lucky my mom wasn't there. He probably would've got his ass whooped. <laughs> yes, Joe. He is very fortunate. He is, in fact. He was hauled outside while on the ground, by the way. Right now, this individual truly has no control over his own mind. Thankfully, he is no longer there. Number three, the pimp. It looks like this guy has been in line for two hours. Let's just go with the flow. I'm not sure if I should believe him. I'm aware that he is going to cause trouble. He pawned a game system. He said we can give him $110 for it. You know, here's your ticket, just sign it. I ain't gonna sign. I'm not gonna worry about it. Sign it, yeah. I'm, not, I'm done talking to you. What did he tell you he was gonna give you? Oh, hang out. 400? Yeah. My guys in the front, don't mess up. When we quote your price, we quote your price. Yeah. Sign that. And I'm not I'll saying your money. If he doesn't sign that crap and close it quickly, this shit is going to explode out in his face as he still acts like he owns the stupid shop. Hold on, what you mean? You don't tell me, okay, with are done. It's one thing if my sister and I get into a disagreement, but when a customer comes in and threatens her, game over. Listen here, I'm a Go pimp. Out I got, I'm a real pimp. Go I'm a real pimp. I'll put you on your back. I will put you on your back. You don't gotta walk the ball. I'm gonna you're gonna start threatening people. Get your you gonna talk to me? You gonna talk to me with some respect? I got more women on the street out here hustling. The guy on the streets is Pimp D. His ladies are on the street. That's precisely where he'll be heading in a few minutes. Never threaten Ashley, either inside her store or out. How y'all gonna put me up out this month, man? You feel what I'm saying? I know you just doing your job, big dog, but I drive my BMW, man. I ain't no blue. If you was a pimp in the pie shop, well, maybe it's time to upgrade your bitches, because they not bring you a whole lot of money. There you go, sir. Yeah, see, this all this $400 game, sister. Thank you very much. All I asked for was 350 We appreciate it. Thank you. Man. Just see how infantile he is acting. Who is pimp? I see no prick at all. Anyway, this individual was truly cast aside and returned to his rightful place, and I'll make sure to welcome him back and eject him if he dares to return. Number four, pawning laptop. This woman walks in wanting to pawn her laptop to get her son into a technical high school. Honestly, bless her heart. That shit is really sweet and thoughtful. Let's see what happens. 
You head in for 100. But I need 150. I know, but I can't give you 150. Okay, but can you consider the fact that I've been patronizing this business since 97? Uh, I really appreciate you. No, being... you're not yes, appreciate yes, my business. Yes, I do. I cannot. I'm asking for help. You're telling me you can't help me, so evidently you don't appreciate. You don't. Am I offering you zero? Do you want the 100? No, no, I don't. Okay, then goodbye. I'm... Ope, I noticed the expression. I noticed the look. Was it simply me who noticed it? Not in my opinion, because the expression was as stern as they come. Without a doubt, this chick is going to stir up some crap. This lady comes in with a laptop. She wanted over $150. You know, I upped the loan to $100, and she wasn't having it. You can walk out the store. I can, and but am will. I going to walk out? You will. Who's going to make who? I want to see somebody make me leave up out of this mother Are you a lady or are you a child? I don't give a what I am. What the hell are you with your wrinkled eyed ass? No, she didn't. She did not just treat Ashley with such disdain, but she'd best not play that prank on us again. Ashley herself is going to boot her ass out of the store. And don't, oh. don't think that you won't, because all I got to do is make a phone call. You know what? Wait. Get out. Don't touch me. Do not Get out. touch me. I've been patronizing this business since 97. You have an English degree, right? No, I don't. F*** y'all. Felix humiliated this woman in an instant. He essentially just gave her the gentlest, most innocent roasting there is. Anyway, her voice irritates me so much that I'm relieved she's no longer with us. Number 5. My Way This man walks in wanting to sell these old TVs or microwaves. I really have no idea what these are, but he gets really angry when he is told they might actually not even take them. Yeah, what's going on, man? What's going on, cuz? I was trying to tell your man, I'm gonna get a couple dollars, you know what I'm saying? About 30, 40, you know? Yeah, I'm not interested. <laughs> Damn, y'all ain't trying to look out at all. And then well, you got cuz. You know right it's here. outdated. You got pops standing behind me. What's up with that? Nothing. You're just causing a scene. On that, on that bum ass. <laughs> Listen, mother. Don't be throwing the shit at me. You understand? This man became extremely irate for no apparent reason. They've made it pretty obvious that they're not interested. So why in the world are you kicking about? You know? Hold up. Tell him bring my shit out. What up, though, cuz? I'm up here at this mother alone. Take your hands off my mother. I don't care how old I am, I'm never too old to beat your ass. American jury. Don't try to stare me down either, because y'all got to close. Just what did you say? Hey, mother trucker, really? You already make a lot of trouble in the store? I'll make sure to come down from above and give you a lesson if you continue doing this. Y'all ain't <laughs> Try to step up like they with some players. They ain't really in my ball game. I'm in for real. I'm up. This. This mother thought he was a badass. As you can see, I'm a badass. You really are a badass. Nobody storms into the shop and begins hurling objects and making threats at the ridiculous proprietor. All right, so you'll be treated like the beast that you are? Number six, golf clubs. A man comes in angrily confused because a worker would not want to actually take these golf clubs. So he went to the manager to see what he could do. Good luck, Les. But what's wrong with him? How much did you want for him? At least 150. Uh -huh. I can go 10 bucks. $10 for all these clubs? All of them. Dad, let me see a manager, man. Hello? Hello? Let me see a manager. You're that don't make no sense. I'm a manager. You're not no manager, man. This is Joe the manager. Who, him? <laughs> out of here. So y'all playing games. I just want to see a manager. That's it. You're not going to give me no crackhead price. And here I was thinking, really, this man assumed Les was the manager. So he went to him to find out why these golf clubs weren't working. What a moron that man is. You're not going to play me like no crackhead. Follow me. Don't touch my golf clubs. Whatever. You gonna give me my money. I ain't going nowhere until I get my money. I want my 150, I know that much. Do you want to keep your 50%? I swear, at this point, you're truly digging your own damn grave. To begin with, this isn't even your money. Go out of the store now, please. Here, you, 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 Give me my money. That I go. Okay. Don't put your hands on me. We figured you would. Look at how big he is, and look at the size of me. But you know what? At the end of the day, I ain't scared of nobody. What he did know is how to get thrown out of a pawn shop. Ah! Though he truly feels like a beat, he wishes he had the might of one. Come on. We all witnessed his intimidation, right? Was I the only one, or what? Number seven, phone call. This woman doesn't have her ticket, yet she proceeds right to the window believing she pawned her microphone. Furthermore, yet, there's another major issue we have. Look into this. Because I, I, you know, no problem. I will find you a man. We give the customer a buy sheet or we give them a pawn sheet. It is not our responsibility once they leave the window. She didn't look at the piece of paper she had when she walked 
walked away, so she didn't know she sold it. That's her fault, not ours. She sold us some merchandise. Now she's back a few weeks later, wanting her merchandise back. It doesn't work like that. How could she be so ignorant as to be unaware that she had sold it rather than pawned it? I realize that I'm often in awe of people, but this woman is the height of foolishness. Are you having? Ma'am, 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 you have to leave. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. You have to leave. Come with me. No, Please. I'm not leaving. Ma'am, come with me. Back up. Nobody threatens me without a response. My response was, get off the premises. Ma'am, you need to I'm get off. I'm not getting up. Get off. This woman is about to learn a very hard lesson. She's actually threatening them now. Really, she answered a phone call that she thought would be helpful, but it would be her last. Nobody threatens me without a response. You gonna have to Tell go ahead. Tell me You gonna see when he get up here. Just wait right here with Bring me. Bring him. You gotta go on. I'm not going nowhere. I'm not going nowhere. Bitch, move. I'm probably mad too. You know what I'm saying? If I let this weigh in her head now, ooh, I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> it seems that others have also noticed these eyelashes, don't they? It hurts for me and her eyes to simply look at this stuff. At least she moved on and is no longer dealing with such nonsense. Number 8. The Bag A man walks in almost immediately with the biggest bag I have ever seen. Oh, and by the way, it appears to be pointless. Big fella, can I help you? Yo, my man, let me talk to no, you. No, man. You're not coming in here with that bag. This man. is my bag, man. You do not bring this no, bag man. in the store, my man. If you're going to bring a bag in our store, we're going to inspect it. It's just our policy. Less. You're exactly right. Do whatever needs to be done, my guy. Because if you don't, this trash is going to explode in your face. Come on, man. Give me this bag. What do you think I'm doing? Give me that damn bag, man. Mother Give me that bag. Give me that bag. The next thing I know, this guy bolted like a son of a bitch. What do you think? I'm not going to unzip the bag and look inside? To be honest, he was hanging onto it by a thread. However, enough of this absurdity. Dude, just face him and quit hiding behind your words. Well, at least we will know now. Oh my god! What the hell? Holy sh There's a man in there! Whole heck, that was not what I had expected at all. And why, in the name of heaven, wasn't this man screaming? Is this place being pranked in any way? Number nine, invisible phone. A mom walks in wanting to buy her child a present. She's definitely looking for a valuable gift, but all of a sudden, she loses something. Anything catches your eye that you want me to pull out? I was kind of looking at some of these watches. Okay. Where the hell is my phone? Something wrong? Yeah, my phone. I, did you take my phone? Take your phone. There was never a phone on the showcase. <laughs> This woman looked lost, she behaved lost, and I'm not sure what she's thinking right now. Whoa, buddy, what in the world is happening? She is definitely going to make a stir. That's my damn phone. You your up. I know you better back no, no, your ass up. Yo, my yo, y'all better get this late because I ain't got nothing. Please, yo, listen, listen, listen. These ladies need to finish their business outside. She genuinely got very angry at the other woman and anything else you could think of without any good cause. There was never a telephone. Quit beating up on that girl. And hey, what's your problem? Oh, oh my for God. sake. Your gangster years is over with, baby. Calm down. You ain't gonna need that cane. Go ahead, put hey, the cane down. Chill out. Man, don't hurt nobody. And watch how you use that cane. Shut the hell up. You got grandkids. Grand that. Have a nice day, sweetheart. She may suddenly become a true mobster. Therefore, if she has grandkids, they need to be protected at all costs. She needs assistance. Number 10, Olive Spitter. This woman enters with the intention of seeing what her watch can provide. The catch is this, though. Moreover, the lady is not truly womaning. Okay, well, what can you do? To be honest, mm -hmm. I'm really not interested in them. You see how it's faded in the back? Mm -hmm. I was scratched on the crystal. I mean, but what's the real point? So you're saying you can do nothing with the watch? It's just nothing that I'm gonna be able to help you with. Really, this woman doesn't comprehend anything, does she? Your watch isn't even functional, girl. The purpose of a watch is to show the time. What is the current value if you are unable to? I don't have any money to get back and forth home, so unless you're going to leave your job and take me home, then you need to do something with that. I'm not giving you anything. There's nothing what, you can do? What, what, what are those? All of them. I don't want any. Thank you. She starts spitting out olives in the middle of my showroom. Do I go to her house and start spitting my food on her floor? No, Seth, you don't, because you are polite, something she clearly lacks. Does she truly want Seth to take her home now? It's not his fault that you chose to get here penniless. I think you are. I know I'm not. I think you are. Well, thought wrong. Well, get it fixed, bitch, because it's real. Take it out of here right now. Get your banana shirt and have an ass off of me. Don't touch me. Oh, you gonna sit my over here? Because I'll never be back up in this bitch. Promise? All you do is run your mouth, 
Promise me you'll never come back. Amazing. This woman ought to have been outside earlier. She really entered and caused herself extreme embarrassment by making a scene. She is the epitome of stupidity. Number 11. Fake diamonds. This woman claims that her niece purchased her a set of earrings, but she wants her money back because there isn't a receipt. Now, as it is, who's money? So there's two problems here. The first problem, you don't have the receipt. If you had a receipt, you'd like this. Second of all, no cash. on the receipt, it says no cash refund. One more problem that's really key to this whole thing. Mm -hmm. These are fake. This woman's face is giving off a death look. This bitch is ready to get burned by her. For heaven's sake, either freaking walk out of the store or just friggin' stop talking and come to an agreement. Come on. I've played this game before. I know this was a scam. Period. Come on. Where's your two options? I'm talking to you. I'm Here. talking to you. I'm talking to you. Sir, can you help me? Can you give me my money? Can you give me a different pair of earrings? Anything. No. Oh, wait. No. Your short ass no. gonna tell me. Are you angry because your coat's so tight? Oh. She believed Bobby J would save her, but she was undoubtedly mistaken in her assumptions. I've seen some very dumb folks, but this one tops them all. Second option what? is you can get the receipt and then ain't no can mother you finish receipt. receipt. It ain't can no you receipt. Finish listening. No. I think it's time to leave. I'm not going nowhere. Little ass baby, you need to go get fair right quick. Bobby J, yeah, it's true. Maybe he, if he sit on the toilet, his legs swing, but leave the man alone. Good one, Joe. I mean, this woman is literally making fun of Bobby J for just existing. At this point, I can't help but question whether she's genuinely angry because her coat is too tight. Number 12. CPR Dummies. A woman walks in and attempts to push CPR Dummies. In case you don't know either, I'll try to guess that you practice CPR on Dummies, I think. So how am I supposed to even know if these are working? Because I am not going to put my mouth on each one of these Dummies. I'm not testing them. Have you ever done CPR? Yeah, actually. <laughs> of course, he comes in to finish the job. When my boyfriend appeared out of nowhere, the craziest thing was tested on him. This is really, really terrifying. Did the chest go up? Yeah, uh -huh. the chest went up. He like keeps going. I didn't ask for him to do it 10 times. I asked him to do it once. His eyes were closed. I think those are his girlfriends. Oh. Breathe. <laughs> Now I'm going a little faster than I should. There's, there's timing in between. We understand. Like, right, we, we just wanted to make sure that the chest went up and down. Indeed, he did find it really pleasing. Yes, Leslie, he really does think that's his girlfriend. My man, you really did show us how to do CPR and much more. The thing is, these are two years old. I think it's a fair deal. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks, Les. CPR kit, $100 buy. If she thinks we're going to sell these, she's a dummy. Well, the good thing, Rick don't have to worry about a date tonight. Wonderful, Les. Rick just knows he's spending the entire night on a date. I'd like not to even consider what he might do on his date.